Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Start 11 show. West Ham United versus Everton in the Premier League. Let's get into it. In goal, Jordan Pickford. Of course. Um, yeah, let's move on. Um, Defence, lots of talk this week. Talk that possibly Sean Dyche go to a back three, a back five. Now, what would be his motivation for doing that? Is it because he thinks that Everton have been defending well. well actually, the defensive record in the last six games isn't that bad. Um, is it because he wants to change the shape to get, you know, the wing backs up or whatever? Is it so he can get two in the two up front? Is it because he wants Michael Keane in the team? I don't know, but I'm staying away from that for now. I'm 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 going to keep with a back four, but I'm going to make a couple of changes to it. So at right back, I'm bringing back Nathan Patterson. I think it's time. I think it's time to give him an opportunity. Um, we're not attacking enough. Um, maybe this isn't the game to be attacking enough. I don't know. But by being defensive, we're being... It's counterproductive. So I think it's time to... We've all just sort of forgot about Nathan Patterson. Listen, Seamus Coleman's out the picture now. He's injured for this weekend. Ashley Long's been doing an all right job, but... I want Nathan Patterson brought back at right back. I want him to have a run in the team to see what happens because I think we are wasting any potential he's got sitting on the bench. At left back, I'm putting Ashley Young at left back because I think Michalenko in, in, hasn't done anything this season. I think he's been poor. Now, there's a, there's reasons for that. One being, he's never really properly come back from that injury that he sustained in the Merseyside derby at the back end of last season. So, f so, that's one of the reasons. The other reason is because he hasn't had Jared Branthwaite next to him. And I think Jared Branthwaite covered him well with the pace and the balance of being left-sided. I think that helped him. But I think Ashley Young at left-back is what I'm going to go for. Yes, it'll be tough because he'll be up against Jared Bowen, but it'll be tough if he plays right-back as well. So I'm going for that. At centre-back, this is the one where... Yeah, you, a lot of people might have different thoughts on this one, but I'm going with James Tarkowski and I'm going with Jared Branthwaite. For me, Jared Branthwaite has to start every single game. He's fit for. There's no question on that. I think it's I think it's an absolute disgrace that he doesn't start games for this club considering how good he is and how good he was last season. Um, he's fit, he's been on the bench, he's come on last couple of games so Michael Keane could go up front but he has to start this game. And I just think if he doesn't, serious questions need to be asked. Serious questions. So he starts and hopefully that combination back again will improve Tarkowski, give us a little bit of pace, get us on the ball a little bit um, and calm us down. And I think that's a really important thing. Moving into midfield, the two starting midfielders are Adjisagana Gay and Mangala. And I think... Just a guy and a gay, busy, puts fires out, keeps it simple. Is you know is is past stats ninety five percent most games, uh, and Mangala again calms everything down. The we will be a question for the core to come back in the side, um, but the way I'm setting the team up this week, I just think it almost like having two old fashioned centre midfielders in there. Um, is what I want to see. So I'm going to go for them too. Right, on the right uh, right wing, I'm going to go for Jesper Lindstrom. I think he deserves a few games. Now, last week I was oohing and ahhing over that one. I didn't think he'd done good enough, but I thought, I thought he'd done enough. And I just think questions need to be, you know, Harrison just really hasn't done it for me. So... I'm going to put him on the right-hand side. On the left-hand side, I'm going to go for Njai. Now, again, people might be asking the question of, should he start? Should he be playing central? I ain't got a central in this, this team. You'll you'll find out why in a minute. I ain't got a central, uh, which is unlucky for one player, but that's just the way it is. So I'm going up for Njai. Um, the only problem with Njai playing on the left is the fullback has to start going past him. Now, maybe that won't happen with Ashley Young, but it hasn't been happening that much with Michalenko. Teams are going to start doubling up on Njai, and he either needs to move centrally, which he can in this team, I, I appreciate that, or he has to have the fullback who goes past them. 
all the time and create opportunities for him. Um, but he's still been our pretty much our best attack and play in the last few weeks, so he obviously has to start. I'm going for two up front. One of them ain't a centre-back. I'm going to go for Dominic Carvin lewin and I'm going to go for Beto up front. Uh, Beto's been coming on, and he has been making things better. He is chaos. I don't think quite yet he can play up front on his own. I just I just don't think he can do that. I just don't think he gives us the shape the way we play. Maybe in a different way, if we play differently with um with a with maybe in GI behind him, maybe you maybe you could. Maybe that's something that could happen. But for now I'm gonna play him up with Dominic Carvin Loon. You've got a balance there, I think. Dom could drop in a little bit, um get the ball to feet, get it out wide. And allow Beto to be a bit of a focal point, or you can go long to Dom and work Beto off him. But I, I just think something has to change up front, and I don't think just swapping Dom for Beto is the answer because I just don't think we create enough chances for the centre forwards. Beto is pure chaos, and maybe you know, maybe that's why he's great coming on with twenty minutes to go or half an hour to go. But I just think we need to see something different. Now the manager might look at it and go, "We need to if we we could play three at the back, and maybe that's how he gets two up front or whatever." But I'm just gonna go for the old fashioned for this. Loads of teams are starting to go back to four four two. By the way, as well, this is not like oh no one's doing this. Teams are starting to sort of drift back to four four two in possession. You know, out of possession, maybe not all the time. So I'm gonna go for a four four two. See what happens. Um, yes, it'll be tough. Be tough in midfield, but listen, it's been tough in midfield anyway, and it's been tough just watching Everton. So I'd like to see us doing something different, and we'll see. We'll see what happens when the team comes out a quarter two on Saturday. Um, whatever, whatever the manager plays, I just hope it gets us the three points because we're desperately in need of them. And if we don't, then you know I think people will start looking at the situation, especially with an international break coming up. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Make sure to check out the match preview with Baz and James. And uh, yeah, make sure to check out all our content after the game as well, whether it's good, bad, or somewhere in between. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already. If you want more great videos, join us over on Toffee TV Premier. The link is in the description and the QR code is coming up on the screen now. See you later.